much pain. Teen Grind, how you living? It's the Kid Ready Kid, and I'm back with another video. Alright, this is going to be like another discussion video. What we're going to discuss is did James Harden deserve to be called the MVP for this year on account of the kind of season that LeBron had this season for this year? On this on this ground, I say yes. Le, uh, James Harden did definitely earn to be called MVP this year. James Harden had a good year. He won over 60, 60 games. Yes, I get it. Some people gonna say, "Oh, he's just good in the regular season, and he was he pretty bad and uh, pretty bad in the postseason, you know, and the uh, fight in the finals and whatnot." Which is true. James Harden does kind of underperform in the finals, yeah, in the games. He kind of, you know, it's like lesser when it comes to big games. Yes, I admit that though, but. But think about this. How many times have James Harden had a good year and he's been snuffed for it? Two years in a row with Steph Curry got one of those years James Harden should have got. And last year, we gave it to Russell Westbrook based off the strength. He didn't have any good players to help him out on his team and James Harden did. Well, it's kind of the same thing for LeBron. We looked at LeBron like LeBron had nobody on his team. And he had to carry them all, all the way to the Eastern Conference. Right. Think about the Eastern Conference. It is not. It's not as stacked as the Western Conference, especially now because they also was played with injuries. You know, Kyrie. You know, Haywood went went down. You know, and Raptors <coughs> choked. And you know, is that is that whole thing? No. If you put somebody like the Rockets in the West in the Eastern Conference and bring Cleveland over here to the to the Western Conference, I'm pretty sure we would have had. Rocket versus war the Warriors in there. I'm just saying, and only that LeBron does has has some kind of help, you know, with hood, with hood and all them. But at the same time, he don't use it. It kind of like the same thing with OK with OKC. We thought everybody on OKC besides Westbrook was gar was garbage. Come to find out, uh, Victor Oladipo is, is pretty good. Come to find out, Cantor is pretty solid. So it is. And depends, and you just can't say some somebody is trash, especially when they playing under a dominant player like a Westbrook or a, a LeBron James. And not and not only that, we talk we talk about somebody who had bad postseason. Uh, what's Westbrook be having bad, uh, bad postseasons? You know, especially with him with his triple double mindset, he play he playing for stats. I have an issue with a player that's supposed to be on the outside, guard guarding the perimeter from three point line. And he's standing up underneath the goal because he's trying to get a triple double. It costs it costs his team the game. I got issue with issue with something like that. And LeBron James play for stats, but not as bad as uh, Russell Westbrook, nonetheless. But he does play for stats. And in my opinion, I feel like James Harden has earned it, and I congratulate James Harden on becoming the, this year's MVP. Will he become again next year? I don't know. Uh, it's still pretty early on to we'll see what happened in the season. Well, though, that's the end of this video. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you think James Harden has earned his, you know, the status to be called MVP this year? And you find my channel the first time. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this on your social media. Remember, every season is growing season. Let's get it.